Hey guys, I just wanted to do a comparison video for you today on the Jujube BFF versus the Jujube Better Bee. Uh, the BFF is in the powder icing print and the Better Bee is in the Perfect Paisley. Um, these are two very popular bag styles offered by Jujube um, at two different price points um, and they're fairly comparable in size. Um, the BFF is usually around $160 retail depending on the um, collection in the print and the Better Bee uh, usually retails around $120 um, also depending on the collection and the print. Um, the BFF, uh, they both can be carried messenger style um, with a messenger strap and the BFF has the additional um, carrying style of backpacks so, and it does come with a backpack straps. Uh, so that does give you a little uh, flexibility on how uh, you want to carry it. The BFF also has a little bit more structure than the Better Bee. Um, so it really just kind of depends um, basically on how much you want to spend, how much you want to pack, and how much versatility you want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started in um, comparing both these bags, their features, and carrying capacity. Um, I have this packed up for my 3-year-old uh, and my 10-month-old for uh, most of a day out or several several hours out. Um, both bags, and I did go ahead and take off all the straps, by the way, it just makes it easier to uh, pack and unpack. Um, both bags have uh, bottle pockets on either side and a change pad um, pocket in the back. Um, they come with memory foam change pads. I have those removed on both bags as I don't use them, um, but they do both come with them. Um, the BFF has a mommy pocket in front, um, this felt lined pocket here in the uh, main zippered pocket. The uh, Better Bee has um, a little zippered pocket in the flap and then um, open the, under the flap you have uh, the mommy pocket here up front and then just the main interior pocket. Um, I'll go ahead and get started um, unpacking. Um, in one of the bottle pockets here on the BFF I just have a sippy cup for my daughter when we're out and about. And then on the other side I like to keep my keys just for easy access. Uh, to pull in and out. Um, they would fit in the mommy pocket in either bag. I just find it easier to take them in and out um, of the bottle pocket. Um, in the uh, felt line pocket here, um, in the BFF, I keep my phone. Um, it is an iPhone 6. It fits in there fine. Um, there's no real good place on the Better Bee, in my opinion, to put the phone other than like a bottle pocket. Um, but I already have my keys in one and a sippy cup in the other, and um, I don't want my phone to get scratched up. So in this bag, I'd usually just throw it in the back. Um, not the best option, but it works. Um, in the mommy pocket here on the BFF, which is one of my favorite mommy pockets um, next to the Hobo B, uh, I just really love the organization. Um, I have it pretty crammed full. Now, the Better Bee mommy pocket, I kind of don't like how you have to open the flap to get to it. Um, it is big, but I'm not a huge fan of the organization. Um, it does have um, a zippered pocket, a uh, mesh one, a big zippered pocket in the back, sunglass pocket, a couple of elastics to hold like pens and things, and a key leash. Um, the BFF um, is a little more compact. There's a little zippered pocket here, um, two open pockets, a sunglass pocket, and the key leash. Um, and this little zippered pocket here, I just keep um, Tylenol and Advil uh, so it's a little further away from my kids, it's two zipper pulls away. Um, in this bag, I just throw it in the big main compartment. Um, I use the key leash for my wallet, just on the zipper, since it is light, in case I drop it or someone would try to take it. Um, I don't do that in this bag because I don't like it, just how it flops around in there, so I put it in the zipper pocket. Also, when you have um, this bag on and you're like trying to dig stuff out, it's easier to just pull the zippers about halfway down and then you can just dig stuff out of this pocket, which is kind of nice. Um, so you don't have to pull the whole thing down, especially because these gussets on the either side sometimes get caught in the zipper and that's kind of annoying. Um, in the bottom of this mommy pocket, I just have a tied to go pen and a regular pen. And I do kind of like these uh, little pen holder things here. And the better be, it's kind of nice to put those in there. Um, in this pocket, I have a coin purse that just has extra cards that my wallet doesn't hold gum and chapstick. And I'm just going to throw all that in this pocket because those are things I want to be able to get to easily. 
Um, in this little pocket here, I have a little mini uh, med kit in the C Amo print, uh, just band-aids, alcohol swabs, and uh, neosporin. And then in this one, I have um, just mommy needs, so pad, tampon, a uh, little sunscreen sample, and uh, hair ties for me and my daughter. And those uh, just put in this zipper pocket up here. And then the only thing I have left in the mommy pocket um, is in the sunglass pocket, which I never use for my sunglasses because I'm always afraid they'll get crushed. Um, I have a little Baby Gannick sunscreen stick uh, for my kids and hand lotion for myself. And I'll just go ahead and throw those in the same pocket here. And then zip up the mommy pocket carefully because of those gussets. Gussets are nice to have, but they're kind of a pain too. Um, so now you can kind of see, I'll show you. If you just zip it part way down, it's easy to grab stuff from the sunglass pocket or this pocket here, or even the key leash. So that, and now we'll get into the main uh, interior compartment. Um, I have the BFF packed up pretty full, just because I want to give you a really good idea of what it can hold. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move the two big things out of the way first, because I like to um, pack around the sides and then put the big things in. Um, so I just have a quick and a fuel cell that I'm going to pull out, and we'll revisit those in a second. Um, on Actually, there are two zippered pockets in the back. One I have is empty, and they do go almost the whole length down of the bag. This one, I just have my little uh, on-the-go teething kit for my son. Um, just has um, his favorite uh, teething chew toy, topical teeth relief, and ibuprofen, and a syringe. Um, in this bag here, there are two mesh pockets in the back. Mesh pocket on either side, and then a mesh pocket and a zip pocket. I'm going to throw that in the zip pocket, and it will zip. Um, in both bags, which is nice. Kind of keep it out of the way. Um, in this side pocket here, um, I just have a little travel on packing key with some toys for my son in case he gets bored. Um, and I'm going to put that in uh, the matching pocket here. Side. Um, and then in the back, I also have another travel on packing cube. This is a medium size. I just use it for my snacks and I can fit a ton of snacks in here, um, plus like a bib, and because they all have these little pockets in here, which I like. So there's like two pouches in here, like three or four things of fruit snacks, peanuts, trail mix, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, and I'm gonna put that in a kind of corresponding pocket. They do have very similar pockets, it's just the better bees um, are mesh, whereas the BFF has a lot of um, the nice um, silky uh, material pockets. Then in this other pocket here, I just have a quicklet in the early sunrise print. It just has some quick change of clothes that are the most likely to get dirty for either of my kids. So like a pair of pants for my daughter because she's potty training, um, a little onesie for my son, um, a pair of undies for my daughter, and a pair of socks for my son. Uh, my son's in 12 month clothes and my daughter's in like 5T, girls to 5. I'm gonna put that in the mesh pocket back here. It's pretty nicely. I'll go ahead and cut it like this so you can kind of see how that's packing up. Um, and then in this uh, last uh, little pocket over here, I just have my wipes. These are all kind of decimated, um, getting ready to refill, but they do fit in this pocket fine um, when they're full. Boogie wipes, wet wipes, and hand and face wipes, and sometimes I have just regular tissues. We'll put that in the uh, corresponding pocket there. Um, the only thing I have now left in this BFF is there's a little zipper pocket here, and I like to put play packs uh, in there for my daughter. Um, there's no great place in the interior to keep those in this bag, but this zippered pocket in the flap, which you don't really want to put much in because it's going to weigh it down, is a great place for those. They're thin, small, light, and it doesn't really affect function of the bag. I'll go ahead and put that in there. You could also put it in the uh, back change pad if you wanted um, as well. Okay, and that empties out the BFF other than the um, fuel cell and the quick. Um, and in my diapering quick, um, I have a light change pad. I think there's, yeah, three size three diapers for my son, two 4T, 5T pull-ups for my daughter, um, disposable wipes, uh, hand sanitizer and some um, trash bags. And I'm going to wait to pack this uh, for a second. I want to show you the fuel cell. 
Um, um, this was in the Royal Envy print, by the way. And um, this is early sunrise in my fuel cell. Um, this is just packed up with more snacks and things. It was just to mainly show you um, carrying capacity size um, of the BFF because I already do have this little snack pouch here. Um, so I have three uh, Medela 5 ounce bottles in here. I could probably fit one more. And then just a bunch of snacks for me and both my kids. Uh, and that fit in the BFF nicely. It was packed full, but it still fit. Now, if you look, the Better Bee is pretty much packed full. Um, at this point, you would have to decide um, what you wanted to pack. Um, the fuel cell would fit um, in the middle, um, but since I already have a thing with snacks in there, uh, if I were packing this bag, I would just use the quick. Um, you can see there still is this mesh pocket here you could put something in. I mean, it's tight, but, um, or you could throw something in on the top. Actually, maybe technically, I guess you could shove the fuel cell on here if you really want your bag to be super packed. It's not going to um, close, but it technically fits in there. Um, but you could always, um, if you really wanted to use the fuel cell um, in the middle, you could take out snack pouch and put, use like a large set piece or the large, uh, one of the travel on packing cubes, put it in the mesh pocket back here and then put the fuel cell in the middle. Um, so they essentially hold about the same amount, um, the BFF. Um, I like the layout a little better um, and it holds a little bit more and it holds it more easily. I like that it gussets um, open if you're gonna be packing it for like an all day out, hanging it on a stroller. Um, or wearing it on your back. Um, this, I, I do generally like um, the bags that just have everything um, down in the middle like this so I can see it all um, when it's on me. I find it pretty easy. Uh, but yeah, it just kind of depends how much you want to pack um, and what you're packing. So they're both really great bags. Um, the Better Bee is definitely a great option um, if you, you know, can't really afford the BFF or, you know, a backpack option isn't really a big deal for you. Um, if the messenger flap um, on here, which annoys some people, is a big deal for you um, and you don't want it, there are lovely um, seamstresses um, that do custom jujube orders um, and they do um, take this flap off and then um, make this into a zippered pocket. Um, and they can also do tote straps, whatever you want. Um, obviously that is for an extra fee, but that is technically an option. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you to kind of gauge um, size and features of both bags. And thank you so much for watching.